Okay, so. I'm making a basket. Okay. First, you have to soak the reed to make it pliable. When it's pliable enough, what I'm doing now is cutting the spokes for the bottom of the basket. Just uh, how how the hot water. I want them even in length. The water's even hot. Water, yeah. hot water. I want them even in length and an odd number. Material. It's going to be a small basket. I'm going to put the pencil line on the rough side. You see how it's yeah. shredding? See the difference? Because you don't want the pencil so there's line like a, showing. What is that, like a cambium layer? Is that the inner inner bark or whatever? No, these are from reeds. These are from Asia. Oh, yeah. And these are you can use reeds. like You can use ash, splints, or whatever, right? Yeah, you can, but that's a lot more that, labor intensive, and yeah. it's hard for me to get ash. You just get them, buy the material. And yeah, I buy the material. This is leftover from a friend of mine who moved to your basic basket making materials. Whatever you're making is a pan for your warm water, your reed and your other materials, clothes pins, because as you're weaving around, you've got to hold the basket together unless you have three hands mm. until you know you get it tight enough so it'll stay by itself. These are ruler and a pencil. Yeah. This various kinds of reed and twigs. These are twigs from the wild raisin, which make nice reeds. Yeah. See the dark maroon color? What's the best basket making material? This? No, what is the best basket ma making material? It depends on the kind of basket you're making. Yeah. Okay, this so. This is just cheap basket. There's a basket over here, this little one. Passamaquoddy basket. That tiny little basket there. This one? Was made by Rocky Keezer. Yeah. That basket retails for about $100. Oh, well, well, yeah. Rocky the Keezer, Keezer is on as well. The Keezers are premier basket makers with Passamaquoddy. Is it Sweetgrass? There is Sweetgrass on the top. The top part. See the top? That's yeah. Sweetgrass. And the other is Reed, but that stitch there on the basket is called a popcorn stitch. Hmm. You can see it's like woven in, in and out. And the smaller the basket, believe it or not, the more difficult it is to make. Isn't That's that a market basket. Can you hold that for me? And you made that one. I made this one. Okay, so that's called a market basket because it's large because and you, you can collect. It's a market put stuff in. <laughs> <I see. laughs> There's many kinds of basket materials I could talk about that. Okay. Um, depending on what part of the world you've been from. Down in the barrier islands of South Carolina, they make baskets out of long pine needles. They have pine needles there. They're almost two feet long. Hmm. And they make pine needle baskets. I have an example of them upstairs. Mm -hmm. In Africa, they use palm leaves to weave. And hmm. in parts of Asia, they use palm leaves. Hmm. Depending on what's, I mean, baskets are made all over the world. West, out of uh, buffalo hides. Bull boats. Bull boats. What is that? Call them. They, made, they were like round leather baskets that floated and they, they rode them. That's what they used for boats. Mm. As a matter of fact, it might have been Minnesota. I think I've seen it in gathering a lot of rice. Anyhow, you can make baskets out of willow. I just planted some basket willow trees. Almost done. The basket willow <coughs> trees. And, uh, because they're very flexible and they have lots of shoots, so you can harvest them off and then they'll grow again. Mm. Willow is what makes wicker baskets, the laundry baskets, you see. Mm. That's many willow. You can make baskets out of roots. 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, we have an odd number. Making a rectangular basket, you have to this way, even they stay. So it's basically a weave, like a, a mat or something, huh? Right. That's the bottom of the basket. Okay, but what I've always 
I, I have a hard time understanding, and most people have a hard time understanding, is when you make the transition up into the curve. Uh, sure. Okay. We're going to just do a simple bottom. So, so under, over, under, over, under. Okay. And you want to come in about the center. See, this is the tricky part. <laughs> so that's about the center of the mask here. And you want to keep these even. Which is, it's not easy to get the basket started. Okay. So you got these guys. This is about the center. Then you're going to go opposite on this. You're going to go over, under, over, under. Now you could put these as close together as you want. See? But you have to have them even. Is it the more pliable it is? Is it easier to work or is it yeah, harder? Yeah, that's why you want to soak it. When it starts getting dry, you got to stop right there or you risk breaking it. Now we're working on the weavers. I've chosen a different color just because it's easier to see. You can use the same color. You know, it's up to your, your discretion. Again, you've got to keep these flat and even. And uh, you have to try to keep these pushed in as much as possible because you want an even basket. It's harder to correct later on. Much harder. So it's just a basic weaving in and out. And turning corners. We're not ready to start the upward curve yet. What's the, the close? You have a clothespin there. I have the clothespin there just to hold it to make sure it can't flip as I'm going around. So I'm about to take it out. I have to bend this over. This is why you keep winning it. You want to make sure it's not going to crack. So you're ending that read? I'm ending this read because it's obviously too short. <laughs> but you're only going three rows. Right now. Yeah, and you're ending it and you're going to tuck I'm gonna it in. I'm going to end this in and uh, tuck it under. It's wait, getting, wait, wait, okay. It's getting dry, so you want to... Do you need to soak it? Yeah, that's just what I'm going to do. You gather them up on the corner like that, see? This is where the bending process starts. And three here. Here. Is there? Do you have to do it in threes, or can you? Well, it's just easier to maneuver. It just happens to be. Easier. In this case, it's three. Yeah. Sometimes it's four. But you don't want to put bunches and bunches together. So you want to be able to round the corner. So you're going to grab two from the end here and one from this side to make you start your corner. Well, here corner, you have, through corner, corner. Here you have four together. Does it, it's all right. It doesn't make a difference. Not really. No, it's just holding them. It's not doing anything with them at this point. Hold them. See? Mm. Start pushing them down a little. Get them to do what you want them to do. You have to start uh, on the inside, you said? Yes, you have to start on the inside and tuck it down, you know, because you don't want it showing in the outside where you started. Whenever you start a new Right, rope. when you start a new row. Now you're spraying it. Now I'm spraying this because you don't want to put a basket with two different colors in the soap basket because, as you can see, the dye comes off of reed. Hmm. So you don't, you know, you want to keep the well, uh, integrity of it. Um, if it's a different color, or I mean, if it's the same color, you well, can Well, then it you, doesn't matter, but. This is dyed, by the way. The reed is dyed with just ordinary red dye. Are there natural dyes that, if you say you wanted to do it in sure. the bush, you could? Yes, yes. Cochineal, which is a beetle, produces a red dye that the Navajo use in their blankets. Now you're just you're doing the same thing the weave back you and forth. You just keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over. And well, when does keep... the bending up process start? Well, it has actually. You can't see it yet because I mean the reeds are already starting to bend up. They yeah. You just keep pushing down on them, and as you do it, it keeps it 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 does it. <laughs> For a pack basket or something strong, that's when you use the split ash. 
seam like that. When you get down to a piece like this, rather than cutting and tucking, I guess we have a little mistake here if I continued that. Sorry. So it's all right. It's okay at this point. So we're just going to tuck behind. The short end. Yes, we're taking the short end and just double weaving it for a bit. You don't want to start again where you tuck this weaver behind. So you don't that start would make a weak point in the basket, so you can start somewhere else. Like start in I a think we'll different start. place every time. Yeah, you try to. If you're going to start with tucking it on the inside, of course you need to tuck it under. So it looks like it's starting to take shape, huh? It is. And when you pinch it like this and it's sort of square but rounded, it's called a kitten ear corner. Hmm. That's kind of what you want in your basket. You know, you want it even in any event. So if I were to build this but wider and taller, that's essentially what a, ba a pack basket is, huh? Exactly. Hmm. Doing a rim on the basket, this is the material we're using here. It's a half round. Okay. And what I'm doing now is cutting down, these are the shortest weavers, so we're going to cut them to approximately that length. Because then we're going to tuck them in. A short basket. Doesn't matter. <laughs> It'll be used for something. Full of my imperfections. Mine too. Bring it again, why? Because you're bending because it? Because we're going to be bending it. And we don't want them to crack when we bend them over. Now we're taking our limb material out of the water. And if we do, is guess what? Start <laughs> weaving again, huh? Yeah. A semi round, pretty heavy food is here. This is the rim. This is the rim. Roll up. Okay, so we'll we got that one strip all the way around. Okay, the rim strip, which is a sturdier cord. Now what we're going to do is take these and fold them over and tuck them in. I'm pointing that so yeah. it's easier to feed it in. Feed it in. You only cut the ones that are like that. <laughs> so we're snipping off the other beavers that are inside. Okay, why are you wrapping that? What do you call it? It's it's to give it more strength before you put the handle on. Just reinforces the basket. Hmm. And it evens out the stavers. Thanks. All right, there it is, end product. Two days work for a three minute, four minute video. <laughs> Handle is my design. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Mom.